Grade 5 Math, number 7.10. Problem solving, use guess and check to find unknown lengths. When we do word problems, there's a lot of different strategies we can choose from. We can try acting it out. We can draw a diagram or a number line. We could make a table or a chart, or we could split it into easier problems. But we could also guess, check, and revise our guess. Another thing we could do is to mix these together. So we're going to try guessing and checking on these word problems, and we're going to see how that does. Emma wants to plant tomatoes in her garden with a small section for green peppers. The tomatoes are going to be in a six-foot square area, and the peppers will be in one-fourth of that area. What will be the dimensions of the pepper area? So we have to think, what do we need to find? the pepper area. What information do we need? The total area and the fraction that the pepper area is going to be in. And then how will we use the information? We'll guess what a six-foot area is split into four parts. So I'm guessing it's going to be about a foot and a half. So we need to find one-fourth of a six-foot area. So our guess is going to be one and a half feet because I figured if we need to find a fourth of six feet, it would be easier to split up a fourth of twelve feet because four goes into twelve easier. One fourth of a twelve foot area would be three feet. Because six feet is half a twelve, then I figured that for our six foot area, I could cut the three feet in half to be one and a half. I did six times one fourth, which is six over one times one fourth. That got me six fourths and that equals one and a half. So I guess correctly. Yay! All right, so now we have to really guess because now we're not going to find it unless we do guess correctly. Tala is making a rectangle flower box. She wants the bottom of the box to be 256 square inches and the width to be one-fourth of the length. What will the dimensions of the flower box be? All right, we know the bottom has got to be 256 square inches, and we know the width has got to be one-fourth of that length. But we don't know what the width or length is, just that it's, this is going to be one-fourth of this. So I tried 24 inches. One-fourth of 24 inches is 6 inches. I multiplied this 24 by 6, and I got 144. Well, that's too small. So I went up. I tried 28 inches because I needed to get a fourth of it to be the width, and I knew 7 times 4 is 28. So I used 7 and 28. When I multiplied them together to get the area, I got 196. That's still too small to be 256. So I tried going bigger. I tried 36 inches and 9, because 9 times 4 is 36. 9 would be one-fourth of it. When I multiplied them together, I got 324 inches. That's way too big. So I tried 32. I went down, because that was too big, I went down to 32. 8 times 4 is 32. And when I multiplied them, it was perfect. It was 256. So it worked. So see, we wouldn't have gotten the answer unless we did keep guessing and checking and guessing and checking. So make sure to read the, proper, the problem carefully. Make sure to follow the information correctly. What if we didn't pay attention to the fact that it had to be one-fourth? We could have come up with something else that equaled 256. So if you guess too low, go up a bit. If you guess too high, go down. And keep doing this until it gets just right. All right? So we actually made a table and we guess and checked, didn't we? So we did two of the strategies. Okay. We're going to be getting into dividing fractions next. I'll see you there. Bye.